your NORCAST weather update. Brought to you by Resorts Atlantic City, where hot summer fun is in full swing. Enjoy one-of-a-kind gaming, entertainment, promotions, and dining. Every Friday and Saturday, play Born to Ride Blackjack and instantly win $100 and a chance to win a Harley Fat Boy. Good morning. Happy Friday, everybody. I know you are geared up for the weekend. The holiday is here. You're able to sit back, kick your feet up and relax. And for the most part, our weather is going to cooperate in the right direction, but there could be a little hiccup here and there. We'll get into those details in just a second. First, let's focus on our temperatures hanging around 70 for Philadelphia and Virginia Beach. Same thing in Charlotte, 70 in Dayton. A little warmer down to the south in Atlanta, Georgia now coming in at 77 degrees. We'll zoom in and you'll see that we are pretty much in good company here. A lot of upper 60 and lower 70 degree reading, 67 in Hamilton, 69 in Mays Landing on the beach and boardwalk in Atlantic City at 70, 67 in Toms River, out in Westchester and Lancaster, mid and upper 60s there as well. I want to start off with the meat and potatoes of what you're looking for, okay? No issues on your morning commute, so let's dive into what we can expect at the beaches, because that's where most of us are gonna be this weekend. So today is fine. There is an outside chance though, after three or four o'clock of an isolated popcorn type shower or thunderstorm popping up. 81 degrees. Now tomorrow, I know it looks ominous. It's not going to be. It's not going to be raining all day, but be mindful. There could be a couple scattered showers and storms out there. That front lingers in the early Sunday and the chance of some showers to kick off the day is there, but the afternoon should be dry. Then on Monday for the holiday itself, clear sky still on the steamy side in the lower 80s. So I think that sets you up for what we expect this weekend. So high pressures offshore, we still tap into that southwesterly flow. This is the cold front that's going to be the culprit moving in tomorrow afternoon and evening. Some strong to severe thunderstorms possible along it, even into our neck of the woods. For today, we're mainly dry to start, partly to mostly sunny. Then with the sun beating down on the ground with all the humidity with the front and relative close proximity to our area we can't rule out some showers and thunderstorms popping up so a very typical summer-like thing where most of you are not going to get wet but a couple towns over you could get uh, a deluge in 25 or 30 minutes it's just the way these things happen tomorrow starts off dry but we could have a shower passing by in the morning then in the afternoon watch out for a couple rounds perhaps of some wet weather so we will keep our eye firmly planted on radar you're fine to go to the beaches you're fine to do all of your backyard barbecuing and pool parties and all that kind of stuff just keep an eye to the sky and be weather aware in case you have to bring people in for a brief period of time so around 90 today humidity climbs the beach is the place to be ocean water temperature at 63 that is way down from a couple days ago because of the southwesterly flow that is creating the uh, upwelling. So it's sunny and sticky, lower 80s on the sand, low rip current risk, high UV index. Partly cloudy tonight, dropping down into the lower 70s. Then tomorrow about 88 does it. Clouds, some sun mix, that chance of scattered showers and storms will still be in the forecast for you. Okay, let's take a look at the seven day forecast. We have us at 82 on Sunday as we take a little bit of a back step. Some lingering showers possible in the morning, mainly towards the coast. A foggy start on Monday, partly to mostly sunny in the afternoon. Then we stay in the low to mid 80s much of next week. 